Welcome back to another video. Today I am, what am I doing today? Today I am, I'm gonna draw. Um, while I was away on holiday, I started some Heidi the Ghost um, sketches and I started sketching them, not sketching them, I started turning them into digital drawings last night. I didn't get very far to be honest. It was just not working out for me and I was having a really hard time with it. But I was supposed to go out today, plans have changed, so I'm at my desk and I am going to crack on with some Heidi the Ghost drawings and I'm really excited for them. I think they're going to look really, really cute when they're in their little sticker packs. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do just now. Let's crack on. So I feel like drawing a ghost is actually really hard because there's not much to them. Um, they're see-through <laughs> how do you how do you convey that um so this is what i've come up with this is heidi the ghost this is her character apologies if you can hear my mental dog barking there is a carnival going on in the village this weekend and he can hear the music a lot more clearly than we can and it's driving him nuts um anyway this is heidi the ghost um and what i decided to do for heidi was to do the colour work a little bit differently than how I usually do so this little basket of sweeties that she's holding is not as it's a different style of colour work than I would usually do and quite honestly I don't love it um so I think I'm gonna change this up slightly although I do really like this one it's very cute but I'm gonna I'm gonna try and add a little bit more depth to these sketches because I'm not 100% in love with how they came out so far. So I'm a bit happier with that version of Heidi the Ghost. I have got two more drawings that I already started, which I'm going to shade in. And then I'm going to start on the line work for, I think there's two more. Yeah, two more that I've already kind of planned out. Um, and then we'll see about making them into stickers, hopefully, if we have time.
just knocked over a whole load of stuff and stickers went flying everywhere. Ah, how annoying. Trying to get everything printed that I think I'm going to need. Oh, I need one more. Ah, I dropped one. Boom. Right, now this one, I don't know if it's going to work because I'm an idiot. And I moved everything after I printed it. Okay, I've got a lot of stuff printed just then. Um, I have got um, Heidi the Ghost backing cards for the sticker packs and on some of the backing cards, I've done a right stupid, well, I say a stupid. So they're double-sided. That one's got a mark on it. No, it hasn't, it's a bit of fluff. They're double-sided, um, but on some of them, they haven't lined up perfectly and I forgot to put a bleed on. Um, which basically means you print further out than you need so that when you cut it you don't end up with white bits. Um, I forgot to do that on all these backing cards so what I think I might do in future is just have the colour on the front and just have them white on the back and then it doesn't really matter and they can be done however. 
Um, so we've got some Heidi the Ghost ones, we've got some Wumpkin ones, which will go with these stickers. Um, and I did some Frank the Pug ones as well because I've got some Frank the Pug seconds that I, and again, look, I cut this really badly. Oh, you can't even see it on camera. It's got like the tiniest white line down the side. Um, but you can see what I've done with, when I did the Frank the Pug ones, I put this like um, pattern on the background. Um, but with these ones, I've gone a bit more plain and I think I prefer them more plain. I think it's cleaner. Um, and I think they'll look nicer once they're made up. So let's get them made up and that'll be that. Oh, and I made some whoopsie stickers because I am accumulating seconds by the minute. That sounded weird. I don't mean time seconds. I mean sticker seconds um, because I have made some mistakes and some of them have not come out perfect. I've got a whole set of Frank, the, no, two whole sets of Frank the Pug stickers, which are completely the wrong size um so yeah i printed out some whoopsie stickers because i've got loads of seconds now and i'm getting in a model as to what is a good pack and what is not a good pack so i need to label them so that i know um so yeah let's get these all made up printed the Frank the Pug on both sides and the backing which is supposed to not have that part on it um, so it's a completely wrong colour on the back because I messed it up but these are only going for seconds stickers anyway so I figured it doesn't really matter too much. There's actually nothing wrong with them, the actual stickers, it's just they're the wrong size. Um, so anybody who gets those is going to be well in because they are absolutely perfect, just the wrong size. <laughs> Oh, actually, I've just realised 
I haven't rounded the corners of these new ones, but I actually like them square. I'm going to keep them square um, because these ones they fit a bit nicer in the bag like that. So that's what we're going to do. These Frank the Pug stickers are all seconds as well. done with stickers for today uh i am gonna wander off and make a drink probably stick a film on and enjoy the rest of my saturday not that i haven't enjoyed this because i actually do really like making up sticker packs and um, it's very satisfying but um have a good one pals see you later